you must be wondering why this specific Hisuian Gudra is so special. I'm not just talking about it being shiny. For the first time ever since the launch of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, you can find this Pokemon's pre-evolution Hisuian Sligu in the wild in mass outbreaks. And I'll be going over a ton of reasons in this video why you should be picking up your Nintendo Switch to get this Hisuian Gudra. The first appearance of Hisuian Gudra was in the game Pokemon Legends Arceus that came out on January 28th, 2022, and it was discovered as an alpha Pokemon in a location called the Coronet Highlands. But this Gudra was very different. Instead of being the typical dragon type, it had the steel typing added onto it, making it a very cool dragon steel type. In Pokemon Legends Arceus, even if you caught a Gumi, it would always evolve into the Hisuian version, and you wouldn't get the regular Gudra that you're used to. Once you caught this Pokemon in Legends Arceus and it was sent to Pokemon Home, it was pretty much stuck there until May 30th, 2023. This is the day that the Pokemon Company finally had Pokemon Home compatibility with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which allowed Pokemon players to bring all sorts of compatible Pokemon from other Nintendo Switch games into Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and all around the ecosystem of the Nintendo Switch games. But the most important part was that you could bring your Hisu and Gujo right over to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now the weird part when you transfer Pokemon from Legends Arceus to Pokemon Home is that it'll show up as the correct ball that you caught them in that game. However, when you bring that Pokemon and transfer them over to Scarlet and Violet, the Pokeball then gets labeled as a strange ball and has this weird green appearance that you can see on your screen. And it's literally called the Strange Ball, which don't get me wrong, is really interesting and very unique Pokeball but I would actually prefer to catch mine in unique Pokeballs, like the Beast Ball or even some rare Apricorn Balls to make it even more special. It all comes down to preference for the Pokemon player, which is why I'm actually curious to know in the comments which Pokeball you'd catch one in and why. Now, the worst part about having a Hisuian Gudra in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is that when you try to breed it with a Ditto, you'll end up with a Gumi, and because of the rules of this game, this Gumi will always evolve into a regular Sligu. Even if you bred it from a Hisuian Gudra to begin with, all Gumis will eventually just evolve into regular Sligus because that's just the way the game was programmed, just like Legends Arceus was programmed for all Gumis to evolve into the Hisuian variant. On top of that, if you breed a Gudra with a strange ball with a Ditto, its offspring is just going to end up having regular Pokeballs. You can't even pass on the strange ball, which kind of sucks. Also, just a quick side tangent, I realized you could do something really cool if you grab a regular Gumi me from Pokemon Legends Arceus and bring it over to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, then you can evolve it into a regular Gudra that has the Strange Ball. I just thought that'd be interesting if you wanted to add that to your collection. Pretty cool. Because you now understand the history of Hisuian Gudra, the Pokeball issues with it, and the breeding problems, you can now understand why this event is really important. Oh, and real quick, just wanted to mention if you don't want to miss events like this when they're actually happening live, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification thing down below so you'll always know and YouTube doesn't hide it from you when something crazy happens for Pokemon. Now, the current event to catch these in the wild is taking place from August 22nd, 2024 till September 1st, 2024, and the event is called Challenge Powerhouse Pokemon. And it's extremely important for you to jump on this because this may be the only chance you get to catch a wild Hisuian Sligu in whatever Pokeball you want that'll eventually evolve into a Hisuian Gudra. If for some reason you don't have the DLC, can't catch this Pokemon, or if the dates have expired, well, you can just head over to my Discord where a ton of people have already caught a bunch of Hisuian Sligus that are shiny and different pokeballs so you can maybe request it there i'll pin that in the description below but of course there is a secret trick to keep this event running forever and that's simply just to go into your nintendo switch and turn it offline or just disconnect from pokemon scarlet and violet entirely and you'd be able to spend as much time as you want in this event to catch as many hisuian gudras as possible in whatever pokeballs you want for a lot of trade bait but there's something even more special about this event which you may want to pay attention 
attention to. And that is the chance of it having a mark, making it even more unique. Now, there's something just really special about Pokemon marks and about catching one in the wild in Scarlet and Violet. The marks add a whole different aspect to a Pokemon and makes them unique and enables the Pokemon to have very cool titles once you enable it and throw them out into battle, like the Chosen One, or if you did any of the Terror Raids, you'd be getting the Unrivaled Mark. But for this event mass outbreak, you'll have a higher chance to get something known as the Charismatic Mark, which if you enable it has the title The Radiant. And if you didn't know how rare that mark is, in the game without all the event buffs, it has a 1 in 2800 chance of happening. And if you have the Mark Charm from the Indigo Disc, then you have a 1 in 933 chance of that happening. Pair that with the odds of a Shiny and it gets a little bit more difficult. And you can only just imagine how cool it would be to have a Shiny Hisuian Gudra in a unique Pokeball that has the title Radiant on it. I mean, Radiant and Shiny Gudra. This is awesome. Anyway, speaking of the Shiny, let's get to the most important part of the video, the hunt. Now, the location for where you'll find these mass outbreaks, specifically of Sligu, are going to be in the first DLC of Scarlet and Violet in Kitakami, inside of a really special place, the Timeless Woods, where interestingly enough is where you find Blood Moon Ursa Luna, and it's the closest thing in the game that's tied to the Hisuian lore. So big shout out to the developers for including this Pokemon spawn right in this location. And if Pokemon does any more Hisuian spawns, they actually might just end up being all in the Timeless Woods. Now, in order to shiny hunt the Hisuian Sligus effectively, there are a few methods you can try out. The first one is typical. You find a group of them, place yourself in a high location, and you could just picnic reset and have the spawns just keep showing up over and over again. Another one that requires you to do work is just simply knock out 60 of them and then start doing your picnic resets. But something cool about the event is that you will always will get two Hisuian Sligu mass outbreaks spawning exactly at the same time within the Timeless Woods. And when you start to date skip or go behind one minute, then you'll be able to change the spawn locations within the Timeless Woods of them. The reason why you'd want two mass outbreaks right next to each other so that you can go from one spawn all the way back to the other spawn, which would cause each one to despawn the current Pokemon and respawn them in. That way you're cycling through different groups. Also, Hisuian Sligo isn't too hard to differentiate with the shiny. Here's what the shiny one looks like compared to the regular, but you should probably enable the zoom in feature, which is found right in your Nintendo Switch settings. That way, when you double tap the home button, you can zoom in on the Pokemon. I always say this because it is such a cool feature you can use for shiny hunting and makes the Pokemon a lot easier to spot. Now, in my game, I had two outbreaks that was very close to each other. And in the first mass outbreak, I didn't even notice the shiny was sitting right over here. Wait, that's shiny. I just started this. <laughs> and then before I knew it, I found another shiny within the same mass outbreak. Wait, is that shiny? Wait, that's another shiny. I'm tripping, right? Is that my second shiny? Dude, what? Another shiny? Finally, I was able to find my third one and it had a mark on it. And by the way, you can see if something has a mark on it if you have the Indigo Disc and can unlock that feature using Blueberry Academy points. So you're able to easily tell, but you just don't know which mark it could be. That third shiny? Mark? Oh, did you see it? <gasps> oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh my God, my third one. I couldn't believe it that I actually got the shiny Hisuian Sligu with the charismatic mark that said the radiant when you threw it out in battle. I mean, that is just so amazing to have. Now, of course, you have to also evolve the Pokemon. So in order to do this, you just simply have to wait for it to rain in your game. If you're high enough level, the Sligus are already going to be past level 50. You can give it some candy or a rare candy. It just needs that one level and then you will get the amazing Hisuian Gudra. But if you're curious about the chances of that happening in your game, here's how it works with this lovely chart from Anubis. So if you don't even have a completed Pokedex in the game, you're not using any of the sandwiches, or if you're not even clearing any outbreaks, then the chance is one out of 190.73, which by itself is really good. But if you wanted to fully maximize the chances, you can use the shiny charm, have a sparkling three dragon sandwich, knock out 60 Pokemon in the outbreak, you'll then have a one out of 144 chance of it happening, which isn't that crazy of a difference. So just let me know what you caught in the game and I'll see you in the video over here.